Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the first, or right around the first. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Somebody could be dealing with a Knight of Pentacles, somebody that works really hard, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that's what I saw was the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody who is probably building their financial stability, or they are financially stable. Um, they're working on building it up. This is a very hard worker, somebody that is very skilled, predictable, has a lot of common sense, uh, is coming. Now, this person is slow, but... Uh, stable, sturdy, long term. When you get the Knight of Pentacles, this guy may be coming with an offer. Um, he's thought about it. He's a planner. Um, he's looking for something long term. He's he's uh, dependable. Very dependable. He's proven himself. He has some skills behind his back. He's already learned something and followed through with it. So he definitely has some skills. Um, he is coming with an offer. So the Knight of Pentacles. He's coming with something solid, stable, genuine, real. Two of Rods reverse. Now this could happen all of a sudden. Okay, it could happen all of a sudden. There's been some sort of fear though. He's been undecisive. But he may all of a sudden be like, you know, I have a lot to offer. I think I will. I think I will. So he may have been, you know, unsure of whether he was good enough or if he had enough to offer or what path he should go down or what way to go or whatever. But I feel like this level of indecision is over. If it does, it feels like it's over. It's like he's made up his mind. He's going to move forward. He's going to, he's going to extend whatever this offer is, or he's going to build some, he's going to work. He's going to build a foundation, maybe build a new foundation, whatever. Um, very reliable. So, so there's somebody very responsible and reliable that has been sitting on the fence. This person has been thinking about it, but it looks like he's going to be making some sort of move uh, <laughs> towards the Empress. Yes, towards the Empress. She is very motherly. She's abundant. She's comfortable. She's very, very comfortable by the looks of things. Um, she's a homemaker. She's quite comfortable by herself, right? She can take, she's a creator. Um, very abundant. This is bountiful. This is, uh, well, the Empress, we already know what the Empress is. We talked about her yesterday. She gives birth. She gives birth. She delivers. She does deliver. She has it all. She's not wanting for anything. So this Empress, she has it all, right? She's sitting pretty. She's comfortable. She's, she appears to be by herself. I mean, this Empress looks like she's by herself. She's, she's doesn't need anybody to take care of her. She takes care of herself and she does it very, very, very well. So we have this person has been sitting on the fence and maybe that's why this person was, um, discontent or worried or wasn't moving forward because, you know, she doesn't need anybody. The Empress is a feminine, doesn't need anybody. Um, this Empress is beautiful. She has plenty. She's a good cook. She, well, she's a lover. She's a domestic goddess. She cooks, she cleans, she takes care of things. Um, she gives birth, right? She delivers. She delivers. So, ah, the queen of rods, the queen of wands. Not only does she deliver, she's probably beautiful. Oh, she is beautiful. I mean, the empress is the queen of all queens. I feel like I should keep going. Perseverance, right? Think about that knight of pentacles. Pe knight of pentacles just keeps going, right? It's not going to step backwards. going to keep going. This is high confidence. Now, this person has a lot of confidence. A lot of confidence. A lot of self-esteem. There's a force to be reckoned with. Um, strong, determined, 
friendly uh, force, you know, a force to be reckoned with, very confident, confident. Um, so we definitely have a decision that has been made. There's been a level of indecisiveness, but now somebody is moving forward after they've thought about it. They thought they probably didn't think that they were worthy. That's what I'm thinking. They didn't think that they were worthy, that they were good enough. They may have had to make a choice between two as well because they may have had a couple of choices, okay? Because we have two different people here. Could be one person, could be two. And this is the two of rods. So it's, we, this knight of pentacles that may have ha that is coming forward with an offer, it may have had two options, okay? One, and, one of them may be fat and one may be skinny. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. One may be, you know, more adventurous, you know, ready to run and do things and whatever, uh, more sporty. And one, this one may be more of a homemaker. So there could be a couple of options. There's two paths here in this piece. So we have somebody here that has been thinking about, uh, which way to go, which way to go. This one may, is probably, you know, a little bit more, um, well, sportiest sportyish you know what I mean uh, more adventurous skinny you know no offense I'm just saying what I see this one up there's a big difference here okay between these two people this person she's the queen of all queens she's a homemaker she cooks she cook not that this one doesn't cook but this one cooks a lot this is a domestic goddess she's all about the home and the home and hearth and abundance and she's you know she's very comfortable at home she's she's earthly she's she's all about nature okay not that this one's not but they're they're, they're different energies here this one is more impulsive fly by your seat of the pants where this one would just sit back and watch you know and takes her time this one really doesn't take her time this one jumps and leaps and different energies here Okay, so we, we, and this is a choice. So we have this Knight of Pentacles, which I saw that is in the process of making a choice between two. We got one that is, uh, well, they're completely different. One is chubby and one is not. Okay, so looks like we have a choice here. We have somebody that is, you know, unsure of what, what they want to do. Let's put this right here because we're going to clarify. Um, Ooh. Ah, three of swords reversed. Seven of swords. The seven of swords on the bottom of this thing does not want to stay up. Interesting that it doesn't want. It's been working fine for the last couple of days. All of a sudden, it doesn't want to stay up. Tower reversed. That's something that doesn't want to stay up either. That's, that's a false sense of security, a false foundation that is perhaps building a new foundation. Got to build, so there's an opportunity to build a new foundation with somebody, but there's somebody in the past, okay? There's somebody in the past that has hurt this person. So there's a choice between two and there's an opportunity to leave the past behind right now and build a new foundation with this empress, but you'll have to stop focusing on the one that hurt you, three of swords reversed. So we have a Knight of Pentacles that is about to move forward and extend. He's ready for something solid. He's ready for something long term. He's been sitting on the fence because this is holding on. Three of Swords reverse to a, somebody, another individual from his past. Three of Three of Wands again. I mean, that is focus on the future, not the past. He'd been looking at the past. He has been. He's been looking at the past, but now he's got this new opportunity to be taken care of by an Empress. So he is about to make a choice. I think that's a, what we got here. He's being practical. He's being reasonable. He's looking for something real. He's been focusing on the person that hurt him. And the Knight of Pentacles can be a he or a she. I'm just saying he because it's a knight. So don't get all worried about that. 
Um, but this is get prepared for an arrival. Get prepared for an arrival. Something is coming. It looks like this person that is coming is ready to leave the past hurts behind. They're ready. They're, they're ready to leave the past hurts behind. They're ready to focus on the future. There's an opportunity to have a new life and build a new foundation with somebody. And I think that there's been some fear here. There's been, there's been a level of indecisiveness because once you move forward, you have to let go of the past. You have to let go of that other person that, that hurt you. It's like it's over. It's over. You're, you you jumped into something new, you know. Now now it's over with the past. So I think that's what we got going on here. That somebody has decided to leave the past hurts behind. There's an individual, and in, because this is looking three it is. There's an individual in the past that was very attractive, or you know, um, whoever this person was. There was a lot of pain involved. With it. three swords, wouldn't be here if there wasn't. This person walked away. They walked away and hurt them. Now, this is somebody who, act, like I said earlier, uh, can act impulsively. Spur of the moment. Fly by the seat of their pants. So, you know, there may have been an individual that, you know, hurt another person, ghosted them. You notice this person's walking away. Somebody got left behind, okay? They got ghosted. Looks like the feminine is walking away. Right, so this is so I feel like there is a masculine that has uh, decided to build a new foundation with somebody that is completely different, completely different than the one that uh, uh, left them, you know, to the left them uh, cold, dropped them, dropped them, uh, you know, um, it was a very rough goodbye. It, they didn't even see it coming, you know. They didn't see it coming. Obviously, this person had a rose. They would refuse to forgive or refuse to come back. It's like they, they just was this. Uh, it's a very hurtful situation. Maybe threes, two threes. This got, somebody got themselves involved in a third party situation by the looks of things impulsively, and you, and, and you really can't forgive that. So I feel like now there's an opportunity to live again for a new life with somebody that will take care of them, knowing that they'll have to leave this past behind. So yes, there's an opportunity to build a new foundation with somebody that will take care of them. In this. And so I feel like the decision is being made to build a foundation with somebody that is completely different than the one that um, left them high and dry, uh, you know, out of the blue, you know. King of Wands reversed. Four of Wands reversed. So somebody was in a commitment, a marriage, or, you know, a false foundation, right? A false sense of security, commitment, marriage, partnership with somebody that was very controlling. Could be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius here. It doesn't have to be. Um, we also have, we have the Empress as a Taurus or a Libra, but it could be anybody. Um, but this is somebody who is very controlling, um, unreasonable, unrealistic, has a very big ego, uh, likes to be the center of attention. Somebody was in a commitment with somebody that was very fake as well. Fake. This person was fake. They weren't, you know, they presented themselves to be somebody that they weren't. Anyhow, I feel like that commitment is over. It's crumbled. It's done. It's over. The party is completely over with this Four of Wands reverse. It's completely over. There's nothing left. It's clean. It's time. It's time to build the new foundation with this person that can take care of them and love them. There's an opportunity for big love here with the Empress. She is the goddess of love. And we all have feminine energies in us. So, you know, that could be anybody. But this is the, it's all about love. It's all about love, but there's anger here. So there's somebody that is angry. They're angry over their past. They've had a hard time letting go of their past. They're angry over uh, and upset over the commitment that the fakeness. So they don't trust. I think there's a lack of trust here. Death. But that's over. It's over. It's time for a new life. It's over. It's, it's a transformation. It's a new beginning. We definitely have a new beginning here. Somebody is ready to build a new foundation and they are about to come forward. 
This is somebody that you have been waiting for. The three of wands. You've been waiting for this. Here it is. It's coming. It's coming. This person may help you to heal. They, they, they may help you to heal from the past hurts. They may help you to forgive. They may help you to let go. So we do have a new beginning. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, doesn't have to be. We have Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have a new beginning here. The, that phase of your life is over. The phase of discontent, the phase of waiting, the phase of not knowing, the phase of living or being in a false commitment, a false sense of security, holding on to it. That holding on is done. It's over. It's done. No more holding on. No more focusing on the past. This is a very attractive opportunity to... Uh, live okay live happily somebody could be getting pregnant if you're already in a happy commitment there could be a news of a pregnancy okay um, it's definitely a very fertile time the empress is about fertility to build a new foundation to build up stability we have a major new beginning here this is the universe one phase of your life is over whatever phase that was whatever phase it was you think about the phase the phase that you've been in it's over it affected you in a very big way. It's over. It's time to go down that new path. It's time to build a new foundation, build a new commitment with somebody that will take care of you. I think there is definitely a message coming from somebody that is watching. This is somebody that is very curious. This is, this is like the curiosity killed the cat and there's communication that is coming. This person may have been watching, uh, waiting for the moment. Knight of Swords. There's fear. There's Knight of Swords reversed. <coughs> There's fear here. This person isn't in any hurry because they don't want to get. They don't want to get rejected. I feel like we have an individual that really feels like they may not be good enough and that's why they've been stalling. But I think, because now I got the Nine of Pentacles, this is somebody who is very uh, independent. So we have a very independent person here. You know, when you get yourself, they could be fear of commitment with the Four of Wands, and this is fear. And this is commitment. So there could be somebody here that is fear of commitment because they've grown very comfortable being independent. Or they, the person that they're watching or they're interested in is very independent. There's definitely a very independent energy here. It looks like the Empress up there is alone as well. It's like this person is very independent. It really doesn't need anybody but is waiting. You know, uh, she's holding on to a pen. It looks like the Queen of Pentacles to me, but it has the Nine of Pentacles. She's got money she's got money she's stable she's solid she's a hard worker she may be a business owner she's been wishing she's been wishing and she's been waiting and here it is she has a lot to offer and she knows it she knows her value and she's been holding on to her value so we have an individual male or female i'm saying she because it's she on the card there is somebody here that is very independent that is valuable and has a lot to offer and may really love their independence but there is definitely an opportunity to start a new life with somebody here or build a new life or give birth to a new life or conceive a new life. Okay, it's a very fertile time. So get prepared to, res I think you're some, this in we have an independent person that has been thinking about, you know, their new life. They've been thinking about their future. They've been thinking about letting go of the past. They've been thinking about love. They've been thinking about making a move. Fear's been in the way, but I think that they're about to make their move. They're ready for their new life. So we do have a major new beginning here when we get the world card. That is leaving the past behind. And starting a new chapter. Somebody may be moving as well. They're ready to move. Planning a move. There's definitely been a level of fear. And I think it's fear of rejection. 
but we think about the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, <sighs> finds their ability to follow through even though it's not easy. So I think that there is somebody that is going to come forward with I think it's a message. I think it's a message. It's an opportunity. It's a genuine interest. Put it that way. Looking to build and start a foundation. That's what I feel like we got here. So get prepared if this message is for you to have somebody that is very real, very hardworking, financially secure, that has been watching and is... Um, going to make a or going to communicate something real this is real 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 it's a real genuine opportunity put it that way that could lead to something long term but it doesn't it's not fly by the seat of the, your pants it's not something that is going to be rushed the knight of swords reversed and the knight of pentacles say we had it here this is not going to be a rushed situation perhaps this one was and that's why there's fear here we're not i'm not going to rush this time i'm going to go slow because the Knight of Pentacles goes slow and the Knight of Swords reversed is going slow. Not So the, the, the slow and steady wins the race. So there is a new opportunity that is building right now that will go out, come off the ground very slow. And it will lead to something long term if you don't rush and take time to... Uh, cultivate it per se. I mean, was the, it takes what time? The Empress to, to... What is that called? Gestational? period you know the gestational stage where you're you're building it and it, so yes so there's going to be a period of building up this new life you might as well say nine to ten months right I mean uh, right but getting to know somebody so anyway we have a new beginning here Maybe there'll be a marriage in 2021 if you're not married. Anyway, somebody, this could go a hundred different ways and we could keep going. We do have a new beginning here. It's a major new beginning after an ending. This ending, ending happened for a reason. This person, the reason it ended because there was too much anxi anxiety, too much anger, too much. This person made this, these two people didn't get along. They were, they were, there's a lot of, um, fighting power struggles who wants to be in a relationship like that anyhow we have a major new beginning here and it could lead to success over time so if you are the empress or whoever this person is that has made their decision I think there's an opportunity for two people to uh, come together and build a new life after <laughs> they forgive the past and focus on the future. Somebody is choosing to leave the past behind and build a new foundation with somebody new. And I think that they've been thinking about it for a while. I know I'm repeating myself, but <laughs> I feel the need. So we do have everybody here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I don't see a lot of water here. I see Scorpio. Doesn't mean that the, the other signs aren't here. Um, but this is not something that is going to be hurried. I think the last relationship was hurried. And that's why it didn't work out. Good luck. <laughs> 